Hey guys, so another useful tip for you guys which I've noticed students uh, struggle with and uh, basically I'm going to tell you how you can overcome that. So a lot of students when they're practicing the early past papers, so the way they do it is that they have the past paper opened up in their phone or their laptop, whatever, and they're solving it in their notebook. Okay, now that's that's great. Okay, I mean, there's no, uh, at least you're practicing, it's better than doing nothing at all. But uh, what that basically does is it through that you don't really get used to managing your answer or managing your working in the space that's that you're provided with okay so every now and then if you can do this consistently that's great but every now and then you should what you should do is you should print a full length past paper and you should solve it on that particular or on that particular paper okay so what what that will do is so that will basically get used to, I mean, you'll, you'll basically get used to how you can manage your working, how to, uh, you know, solve efficiently. And uh, another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of students tend to do their, uh, tend to solve their paper first in pencil and then they pen it out. So again, not something that I would recommend because you you might end up wasting a lot of time. And when you're when you're doing it in pen, when you're doing it with your, uh, I mean, for for before your submit before submission, so. It's, it's gonna look a lot, it's gonna look extremely untidy, okay? And you may not have the time to erase everything that you've written in pencil, okay? So however, however, if you have, if there's something that you're doubtful of, that way uh, to, if, if you have a doubt regarding a certain solution or you're not absolutely sure about it, what you can do is, uh, at the very end of the paper, you have a blank page, okay? So you can solve it over there, or you can use, use that page as working also. So that's that's something I'll, I'll definitely recommend, but not the entire paper, okay? So two very important things is that when you're practicing early past papers, make sure to do it on the actual past paper printed out so that you get used to managing your working efficiently. Number two is that make sure to, I mean, do not, it's not something I'd recommend, not, do not solve your paper first in pencil and then plan to pen it out later on, okay? Not recommended. And so some of the, so some students had this question that whether or not should they make graphs in, uh, is it okay if they make graphs in pencil? So if you guys, if you guys actually read the first, uh, I'll open it here. If you guys read the first page, so this will answer a lot of your questions. It says use a black or dark blue pen. You may use an HP pencil for any diagrams or graphs, okay? So it says you may, which means you can draw it in pen if you want, but not something I'd recommend because that's not something you can erase and do it again so it's best that you draw it in pencil and make sure it's not too light and make sure it's not too dark either the reason why it shouldn't be too light is because your papers get scanned and then they're graded so if they're too if it's too light then it's possible that it may not be 100 percent visible and the reason why it shouldn't be too dark is because uh when you are uh suppose you do it wrong then erasing it i mean you're gonna have a hard time to erase it okay so yeah a couple of things you guys need to watch out for and should be fine inshallah so yeah, that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.